What's up? Ian from Powerhouse Mitches. Back again with a uh, Chaos Dwarf Demon Smith from Forge World, painted by me, obviously. Uh, put this one up for the Golden Demon 2016 painting competition. Didn't make the finals or, or win anything, obviously. <laughs> but um a load of fun and then I'm just shooting it now with like my proper HD camcorder, which I got the other day. I dropped quite a lot of money on it, but it's totally worth it. And um yeah, it's like a full HD thing now, so hopefully you can see that really well. Like I said, I'm still learning, still moving forward with stuff. Um, these are for sale at the minute, so if I don't do these videos now, I'll probably never get a chance to ever do these models again. So, yeah, even though I'm learning and stuff, I'm still trying to, like, uh, you know, just put up stuff whenever I can. And like I said, if I, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to get a chance. So I'll keep learning, and if there's stuff that, like, I need to work on... Uh, like I want a different backdrop, I want a little like a lazy Susan so I can sort of spin it around without having to get my stupid fingers in the shot and stuff like that. Um, and I, I will do that, but like I said, if this goes then I'm I'm never going to see it again, probably in my life. <laughs> Some, you know, they go all over the world, which is awesome, but just means I'm, I'm probably not going to get a chance, so uh, just doing this now. So I've got a couple of lights and stuff, they seem to work really well, and like I said, the camera's like a full HD one, um, and like, you know, get some good good quality in there. And the thing with with this camera as well, it takes stills. So um, I've got a, quite a good Olympus DSLR camera, uh, which takes a really crisp uh, shot if it's set right and everything with a tripod. So I'll see what the digital stills are like, but it's like a 9 megapixel or something. So um, depending on the light and everything, I might be able to start using this for the still images as well. So yeah, Chaos Dwarf, Demon Smith from Forge World. It's from the pack of three. Uh, I've painted two of them, I think. This one's on sale eBay at the minute for about 60 quid. You can find the links to that on my Facebook page or just on my eBay shop, which is Powerhouse Miniatures. You can find them both. Just put me into Google. You'll find me there. Um, so, yeah, really fun. The little base is for model display products. I've got a few of their things at, uh, at Salute. They do these cool little bases like this one. Um, they were like three quid, which is awesome. And then, like, just little blocks and plinths made out of resin like that. They're... That um, they were like three or four pounds each, which is really, really cheap compared to the wooden ones where you pay about a tenner. Uh, so yeah, got a few things uh, there from them. They're let's say just just good quality but cheaper. And in some of the models, like it doesn't, I don't particularly care that it's made out of resin and not wood. And these little ones, it's a bit cheeky, but um, if you can see that, there's like a wood grain sort of like moulded in. So if you wanted to paint them brown, then yeah, you might might just be able to get away with it. So this guy, the little base is a like a, um, a graveyard base. So there, I've done like a little graveyard effect with some like streaks and of like grime, moss, mud and shit like that, and then some ivy sort of like growing up the side, and then some flowers around the front, like it's someone's grave or something, you know, and someone's put like flowers down. But then he ain't dead. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the arms are coming out of the ground, and then I put some like fresh mud effect around the bottom. So that was like sort of the theme for the base because it was like demonic. And then the um, the pipe he's got in his hand as well. It's autumn flock, but the autumn flock from winter now from woodland scenics comes on a little mesh like um, it's like a cloth mesh. It reminds me of like um, like duct tape or something, or that gorilla tape you can get that's got like a reinforced mesh on the inside. So if you rip it just right, you can sort of like twist it in your fingers you know and then you can create like a little spire and then like as a flame effect I should have really painted it like darker at the top or uh, darker at the bottom lighter at the top or something you know to look like a real flame but it's kind of delicate and then I painted a bit of OSL around the face and eyes um, like a, just, a, just a tad of orange so I'm going to point with a thing in a minute it's like just there and here and like just around the inside of the face I pointed with um with some of the same orange, like a fire, fire dragon bright, I think it is. Just around the insides and then around the fingers, around the inside of the arms and then the top of the shoulder pad. So really pleased with it in total. Um, I, I can always improve, it's a thing. I, I spent a few days working on it and I thought, there's always more that I can do. There's always something, there's always something I've missed and what, you know, something that I've not, I've, I've not done perfect. And I think that a really big thing is just accepting that Nothing's perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like that seems to be a lesson in uh, in I suppose in any in anything that perfection's not possible. It's just something you aim for. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like infinity in mathematics. Maybe like objectivity in journalism. It's just some. It's 
it projects the plane by which everything else is possible, you know, but it's not actually attainable in its own right. It's just a, almost a pipe dream. Like there's, there's no way you can be perfect. There's no way, as a newspaper, you can be perfectly objective. There's no way in maths you can ever divide by zero. You know I mean, it don't work like that. But you, if you set yourself that goal, knowing that it's unrealistic, knowing that it's higher than something that's possible to actually attain in the first place, the, um, you know, the, the nine out of ten that you will achieve will be better, you know, than if you go into it with sort of lower expectations. I don't know. It gets a bit, gets a bit thoughtful. I suppose I don't know. I'm a bit like that. Yeah, so I've got a little uh, glowing OSL thing on the back where it's like a little furnace. Again, I wanted to do some smoke coming off coming off the back, but I couldn't get it looking good. Um, and some of these little fire effects, I really like the way it looks because it's kind of wispy. Like, you see, just here, you can almost see straight through it, like there. Uh, if I just move it around, like, you can almost see through it, which is cool, which is exactly what you want. Um, but of course, inside, it's held together with like tiny little hairs, like tiny little strands of shit to, uh, that keep it together. A little bit, so it looked really good. So if I had one that I could like spray paint black, or maybe paint black with the airbrush, I'll, I'll do that again. Um, and in the next few months, I've got a full uh, video series of tutorials about how I do various stuff. Again, with the caveat that I'm not the best in the world, um, but I'll have some tips and tricks for like beginners and intermediates that uh, will definitely be able to to pick stuff up, especially about speed painting and tips and just stuff that I've picked up over these over these years. So I might do one on that because some of these effects are really cool. So I think that's pretty much it. It's for sale at the minute, I think for 60 quid. So if you want to get hold of that, um, find me on Facebook. You can find my eBay shop, which is Powerhouse Miniatures again. I'm sure you just bang me at Google and find me there. So well, that's pretty much it. Loving these videos so far with the HD. It's fucking awesome. So cheers for watching, and uh, I'll be back in a minute with a few more. Cheers.